the corner puking his guts out. That makes me a little bit scared. You yeah. need to sell that car. <laughs> we love old cars around here, and you do too, but our moms are worried. They think we all drive death traps. Today we're gonna review crash test videos of the cars that we love the most to see if we're in as much danger as our moms say. I'm James, he's Jeremiah. Let's get dangerous. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Raid Shadow Legends is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. Use my links below to download Raid on mobile or PC. Lately, I've been crushing on two champions in particular. I'm talking Royal Guard of the High Elves. He's a true star of PvE combat and an extremely powerful ability that scales damage based on enemy max HP. But he doesn't just deal incredible damage. He can even paralyze a boss! And then there's the master of insults, Angar of the Orcs. In the arena, he shuts down the enemy team and in PvE combat, he can cripple enemy waves. Sure, he's rude, but you'll love him. And there's a ton happening in Raid this month, like new champions, a tag arena update, tournaments and special events like this special Deliana Chase event where you can get your hands on the amazing High Elves champion Deliana! All you have to do is log in, play raid for seven days between now and July 20th and you'll get Deliana for free. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen and you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $40. I'm talking three free champions at once. Misery Cord, Tiger Soul, Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force XP Brews, and 10 Spirit Brews. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. And for all you new players, listen up. Once you're in game, just enter promo code MYDELIANA and get 50 XP Brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. Download it today, and now, Back to the show. We're gonna kick it off with a Nissan 350Z, one of our favorite cars, we own two of them. This crash test that we're about to watch, Jared, is called the Frontal Barrier Impact. It simulates a 35 mile per hour head-on collision. Let's see how well our 20-year-old Japanese coupes hold up to a wall. All right. It's just a wall. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. Airbag's out. I think that to be honest. That's a bad crash, the airbag went out. Yeah. You'd definitely be sore, but I think you'd be fine. I mean, he's going 35 miles an hour straight into a wall. Right. right. So you go from 35 to zero like real that. quick. Ooh. That hurts. Ooh, and that you know hurt. that that dummy is not as tall as you are. Dude, the knee pressure broke the- Straight through the- Straight through the glove box. The organization that does this test is called NHTSA, and they give cars a rating based on how well the driver and passengers are protected from injury. Five stars is good. Uh, it means you got like a 90% chance of, of walking away. One stars is very bad. That means you got a 50% chance of being like seriously injured. So how do we think that the Z did? To be honest, not as bad as I thought it was no, gonna be. That car is 100% totaled, but I think you'd walk away from it. Right, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'd say driver. Four. It's a good guess. I'd say passenger th three. Yes, I was gonna guess four, four. Four, four, yeah. four, three. Okay. Eight, seven. Let's see how NHTSA actually rated. The 350Z actually got a five star rating for the driver and a four star for the passenger, a combined nine out of 10. Uh, so a big reason why it did so well is because the front end crumples, so the impact is not transmitted to the cabin, but the passenger's knees hit the dashboard hard enough to crack the plastic. Yeah. Like we noticed. <laughs> we noticed. We noticed that. All you need is to not have your knees get bashed in the passenger and you're perfect. Yeah. Jeremiah, mm -hmm. uh, I've been told that this next car is for you. Oh, this is a surprise. Yeah. What do the we have? Catfish Camaro. You got one parked right in the parking lot right now. I do. Let's see how your good old catfish holds up against the oblique frontal impact test. Oh. All right, this simulates a 65 mile per hour impact at a 22 degree angle. But unlike the brick wall that we just saw, 
Uh, this uses a deforming barrier, which means it'll take some of the impact. It'll, it's got a little give. This is a great test because this is what most catfish people do. They do burnouts in the streets <laughs> and then they run into a house. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. That car is fiberglass, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> so this is more like a semi-truck just <laughs> nailing you. <laughs> or just being like stuck on a train track. Right. Oh! 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 Destroy oh my god! <laughs> that is not looking good, James. Mm -mm. That makes me a little bit scared. You yeah. need to sell that car. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe... Maybe on back then scale, it might be a 3.3. I'm going to say 3.3. Three, three. Okay, that's good. The 1997 Camaro actually scored a 4 for the driver and a 5 for the passenger. <laughs> I knew it! It's a slam dunk. So originally we were going to put safest at the top, but after that roller coaster, I think we want to put most dangerous at the top. Yeah. So I'm going to move the Z mm -hmm. down. down a little bit. Because it's pretty safe. Because it's pretty safe. Okay, so why, so why is that safe? I think part of the reason was the long hood. Mm. did take a lot of the impact, so there was more crumple before yeah. it got to the driver's area. And that's what we should think about. It's, right? It's it looks like, very dramatic. Right. But if the car's taking the hit, and mm -hmm. you're not, and mm -hmm. it's blowed up, and mm -hmm. you're fine, then it's all right. So next, we're going to look at one of the most popular enthusiast cars on the entire planet. I think there's like four in the donut family. Of course, I'm talking about the NA Miata. Some people think that the Miata is always the answer. Maybe this test will prove otherwise, all right? Maybe you'll be like, the only answer Miata is for is how to die. So we're gonna, we're about to look at the crash test for a Mazda Miata, Ooh. an NA. Ooh. Uh, so okay. 35 miles an hour, you're straight to a wall. Pretty good. Actually, yeah, not bad. Oh. It doesn't weigh that much, right? Oh, it doesn't oh, have I that much so. momentum. Oh, dude, the passenger got energy. totally Bone, yeah, though. that guy looked like he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. This isn't about how the car does, it's about how the passenger feels. That's what you're just saying, because the saying. catfish Camaro exploded. High speed film. Oh, oh he, almost. He's, he, I don't think he almost. banged anything, but he snapped his neck pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, he's hurt. Dead. That's a grandma? Dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, think about somebody who's brittle. Well, we gotta put her in a home. Uh, so I'm thinking driver five, mm -hmm. passenger like two, three. I'm okay, gonna say well then, driver four, passenger two. I'm gonna go one for the passenger right, and four right. for the driver. In 1995, Total you could smoke in schools. <laughs> <laughs> there were the pencil machines and the cigarette machines. The Miata actually scored three for the driver and four for the passenger. What? Even though the driver had an airbag, the passenger actually experienced less acceleration because old airbags were really powerful, and in this case, it slowed the driver's head down too fast. Ooh, and that'll concuss you. It, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, someone punching you in the face while moving forward. With a boxing glove this big. <laughs> yeah. So this is more dangerous than a catfish. I'm gonna <laughs> Which, I mean, honestly that. makes sense. How about one of the most popular enthusiast cars ever, and for good reason, every generation is pretty dang good. I'm talking about BMW 3 Series. So we're gonna compare a few different generations, starting with probably the more dangerous one, BMW E30. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. No lot. airbag? No airbag, uh, this is the 85. I mean, I don't know when stuff happened. I'm surprised it even has a seatbelt. <laughs> so in 1985, they actually didn't do separate ratings for driver and passenger, so it's just one rating for the driver. Out of 10? Oh no, just, okay. I'd say this is a 1985 four. Kind of you gotta consider yeah. the year. Because BMWs are notoriously known for sa being mm -hmm. safe vehicles. And this would be one of the cars that like made yeah. that. Right. Uh, Even though his head blasted the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, they're like, right. of course the head's gonna blast the steering wheel. There's right. a steering wheel in front <laughs> of the It's head. a car! <laughs> right. I'm gonna say four. I, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, four. Even though it doesn't feel like a four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The E30 actually scored a three out of five. Damn. The head bouncing off the steering wheel was bad, but you can also <laughs> see the entire roof bending in the middle, indicating that the impact was being transmitted into the passenger compartment more than it should have been. Okay. Mm. So you know, I actually thought that might have been a good thing, kind of transferring it around the passenger, right. but guess not. So this is uh, the most dangerous car yet. Next, let's look at one of the best bargains in cars today. E36 3 Series. We got one of them parked right out there. This is a front overlap test, which means there's only half a wall. And you're gonna hit half the front of the car. Nice. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna be a four. Four? Yep. Dude, you're like For the Babe right Ruth now. of this game that we made up. <laughs> <laughs> but, ooh. Ooh, you got a baby back. in the back? Yeah. 
Uh, okay, well, based off the last one, the roof is fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No passenger airbag went off, but he seemed to That's do a okay. Bad crash. Have Same. you guys watched any other overlap tests, though? No. No, we don't know. So, I mean, I think that that's going to be worse for one side, which, you know, given that that's the test, it might be better than you think. I'm going four. Yeah, I'm going foomph. Is this a combined score now? It's German for four. So what do you think the passenger got? Uh, do you think the passenger got a four as well? Yeah. So eight. I'm going oh. three. I'm going three four. E36 actually got four four. Four four. Yeah. <sighs> Pretty good. Foomph 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 foomph. Eins zwei drei. We're moving on to the next generation super popular car. Justin has one E46. We're gonna kick you out. Go grab Justin. Cool. <laughs> do, you, do, you know, do you know ahead of time what yours is? No. <laughs> Justin's dog looks like George Clooney. Can we get a picture of Justin's dog? Justin's dog? George, George Clooney. Clooney. Smack. Way better than the others. That actually, yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, it looks, looks like they finally figured really out the good. roof. The, the roof. previous two generations, the roof buckled. Ooh, which yeah. is yeah. not. That car seat is. Dangerous. Ooh. Oh, oh that, that, that baby's a hitting like a back glass. Oh. Let us know in the comments if you want to see us make a video $10 junkyard car seat versus $1,500 <laughs> Recaro car seat. <laughs> I think that's the best one. That's really good. Well, yeah. it's the newest yeah. car. This is like, True. When what year is your car? Mine's 01. Okay, so this is in the 2000s. Well, the Zs were good. The Zs were good. Zs were like 2003. Yeah, Z was really good. Dude, I think this is a 5.5. Five. I think this might be 5.5. Five. I, I, four and a half. You can't do hats. Oh, hats. Five. five. Totally. Yeah, yeah five. The E46 actually got a four driver, oh. five passenger. All right, so oh. That's pretty all right. good. Pretty good. That's pretty Just good. Just as safe as my catfish. We're not here to talk about new cars, all right? We're here for danger. <laughs> Let's talk about one of my first cars, one of the most popular enthusiast cars out there, so much so that they're Stupid expensive. Of course, the S13 240SX from Nissan. Your brother had one of these, yeah? Yeah, and it was a tin can. So you've driven one. Uh, yeah. How do you feel like it's gonna do? Yeah. It can't be good. There's, there's <laughs> yeah. just no yeah, way. Yeah. We're gonna look at a rear impact test, also known as the Pinto test, because when the Pinto got hit, the gas tank would explode. So this is to ensure that the fuel system remains intact and doesn't explode, which is bad. So. Yeah. Let's see how the 1989 Nissan 240 Ultra. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a, oh. oh, that's way better than I thought. For the driver, yeah, they're they're fine. It's hard because there's no dummy to look at. Uh, that's see. surprisingly not bad. Yeah, I think that's good. I bet that's in 1989. That's a five. That's not bad. So the S13 passed. Yeah. yeah. The S13 passed the rear impact test. Uh, and as far as the frontal impact test, which we do not have video for, scored a three driver and four passenger tying with the Miata. It's good that the rear uh, did well because whenever I'm in an S13, I'm dragging wall, baby. <laughs> I'm dragging wall, baby. Nolan, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, 2006 Mustang GT. So we're gonna watch a video of your car running into the front of a wall. We just shot it this morning. I love it. I assume it's Probably not safe by today's standards. But, but we're going off of, off 20, of 2006, 2006 so yeah. maybe it's fine. Oh! Crunch, oh. crunch, 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 oh. crunch. Uh, airbags deployed. I think that's pretty good. That I looks think so great. too. That, look, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks really good. Minimal um, kind of damage to the passenger compartment. Uh huh. The airbag oh. deployed. The, the the head is being supported, as we'll see right there. Great seat belt. Yeah, good seat great belt. Great seat belt. The uh, roof. Roof is good. It Did didn't crumple or anything. The back end looks good. I'm saying nine, probably, potentially ten. Oh, and if you got a ten, that just changes the game. That'd be Noel. pretty cool. You we haven't got a ten yet. You would have the safest car. Though. You have the that'd safest. Cool. Uh, double down. Yeah, double down. Say 10. ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Let's go. 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 Come on, Nitsa. Give us a ten, baby. The 2005 Ford Mustang scored five driver yeah. and. Five passengers! Yeah! Yeah! Safest car at Donut! Yeah! Woo! America! That's old pony car. That's awesome. Oh, Suck our schnitzel. S197 Mustang, top of the pack! Uh, Cadillac right. of the sky! It goes on the bottom. This is the best, remember? Whoops! <laughs> oh. yeah. I'm gonna go crash my car. Before we go any further, I wanna talk to you guys about something that we're really excited about here at Donut. We're launching a car collectible and it's called Stocky. 
A while ago, we did a Kickstarter and uh, it was really successful. These guys are ready to ship and we're gonna open up uh, sales again for a limited time. We have two brand new versions of Stocky, low car and real time racing. If you watch Speed Channel in the early 2000s like I did, you definitely recognize the real time racing Integras. Super, super cool. Uh, these are officially licensed from Acura. I'm really, really stoked about these. I think it's like a big deal for us. And uh, I'm really stoked that you guys can be part of it. So click this link, get yourself a stocky. Eventually we're gonna make all your favorite cars. Let me know in the comments which ones you want us to make. All right, we have one more car left. It's near wow. and dear to our hearts. That was we wild, just, man. We just <laughs> bought one. I'm very excited to drive this car all summer. The Mark III, that's the third generation Volkswagen Cabrio, <laughs> AKA the newest member of the Donut Fleet. Can we get a picture of Leonardo the Cabrio? Oh, look at that wow. beauty. James. Yeah. This is a, a, a corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one, then there's a ramp, okay? And that's because this is a rollover test. This test was not done by NHTSA. It was actually done by a Swiss company in 2016. Oh. They crashed five Volkswagen Cabrios using this corkscrew test. Why? Was this for like a loft suit, I bet? Must have been. Probably a legal Because like, why else would you do that besides having yeah, a lot of fun? Yeah. So this isn't going to be ranked the exact same as a NHTSA, uh -huh. but really you're going to just be seeing if you're walking away from this accident or not. Okay, right. if you live or die. Let's see. I bet it's going to be safe. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dude. Dude. For that's... flipping a convertible, not bad. That that looks so scary. Dude, that's hard. Okay, here we go. Okay, here let's we go. Let's roll bar. All right, let's roll see bar. Roll bar. Works? Skids, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Roll bar worked great. Wow, what about that front? I mean, given that's what they were supposed to do. Huh? Oh, arm can... out. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> that's user error. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we no. go. The boys. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh your face <laughs> scraped on the oh, oh, that's your head. All right, so it's live or die in that? I don't really have the score. You guys just saw it for yourselves how it did. Okay, I think I'm fine. I, I'm definitely fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. okay. I'm dead. I don't think I would have walked out of that one. I am surprised how, dude, they were going. They were, they were <laughs> they, ripping. They, were they hooked that, bro. <laughs> yeah. The I windshield did fold quite a bit. It folded. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. It almost yeah. flattened completely. I think you're dead. Honestly, our moms have a lot to be worried about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video and every other video on Donut. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We upload a bunch of videos uh, multiple times a week. We also have a podcast, a couple of them maybe by this point. Probably not. Probably still just one. <laughs> uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Uh, I love you. See ya.